and lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer death among men and women. It claims more lives than breast, colon, and prostate cancers combined, but new advancements in treatments is giving patients more hope than they have had in a very long time. I recently spoke with Dr. Julia Brahman and cancer survivor Barbara Martyr about these new treatments. There is a lot to be hopeful for, beginning with targeted therapies that are particularly targeted and designed to hit a particular mutation. So that's why it's very important when a patient is diagnosed with lung cancer to have their cancer tested for genes that have got, become abnormal and potentially have targeted therapies uh, used in those patients. We're also working on developing immune therapy. Immune therapy is now approved for use in some patients with metastatic lung cancer or lung cancer that's spread outside of one spot. What the immune therapy does though is actually uses your own immune system to attack the cancer cells. This is welcome news for a lot of folks out there, especially in our area. What type of testing is needed for patients to possibly qualify for these new treatments? So particular testing is needed that uh, looks at the cancer itself First, testing for mutations. These mutations can't be passed down to you from your parents, but actually something that's gone wrong with the cancer. And that's why we use that to screen for targeted therapies. Now for immune therapy, we don't yet have a specific test that will 100% say whether or not the immune therapy will work for you. And so that gets me to research. We are doing a lot of research to be able to find that type of test. And it's very important to fund this type of research. Certainly groups such as the Lung Cancer Foundation of America are making strides to increase funding and using that funding specifically for research. When we're talking about cancer, folks are always looking for a cure. When you're speaking of these new treatments, could this lead to an actual cure? We hope that it will lead to a cure, but unfortunately right now we can't say the C word or cure. But through research, we hope to get there. And certainly groups such as uh, Lung Cancer Foundation of America uh, is working to do that. And by going to their website, the lcfamerica.org, you can see ways that they're trying to increase awareness as well as raise funds to donate for research. You can, we're actually a part of the 30 Days, 30 Ways campaign where each person can actually particular, pick a particular day on that day, do something to actually bring people together and have them donate to research. I'm picking July 2nd, which is my mom's birthday, and I'll post on Facebook about this organization so people can go to the website learn more about lung cancer, take a short survey, and enter into a contest to win a Fitbit, and then also donate to research. And all these donations go directly to research. And again, most importantly, give our patients hope. Absolutely, and knowledge is power. Barbara, we want to ask you, we know that you have a story that's a, a great example of how these new treatments can have great results. Can you tell us about your story? Yes. Over four years ago, I was diagnosed with lung cancer. At that time, I was then had surgery, removed one lobe of my lung, and appeared to have the cancer removed from my body. I had a couple of rounds of chemotherapy in case there was a mutation floating around somewhere that we had not picked up. Everything looked good. About 18 months later, the cancer had metastasized to the other lung, reappeared, in other words. At that time, I was not really a candidate for more chemotherapy because I'd been a kidney donor and the primary drugs that are used for lung cancer uh, tr chemotherapy treatments are not really good for me. However, I talked with Dr. Bramer, was able to find out that there was an opening in a clinical trial using an immunotherapy. For me, this has been very, very successful. I go every two weeks, have an infusion of the immunotherapy drug, and then go about my business for the next two weeks. Uh, within weeks of starting this program, my tumors began to shrink. Within six months, there was no sign of them. That has been over two years ago. There continues to be no sign of the tumors. I am able to pursue my life's activities in a way that anyone who's never had cancer can. I play with my grandchildren. I can now look forward to seeing them grow into their teens, grow into their adulthood. I'm able to travel. 
I'm able to pursue the sports that I enjoy, golf, water sports, on my kayak this weekend. And always, my life has been blessed with the research that's being done on immunotherapy. I'm only so happy that I can be a part of this research. Barbara, we are so glad that you are able to join us. Thank you for sharing your story, Dr. Bramer. Thank, Thank you for you. joining us as well. All of the information for folks who are interested in how they can help out, how they can get involved and get more information, we'll have it posted on VirginiaFirst.com. Both of you, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.